good evening uh, to all the brothers and sisters in Christ. So, we thank our Heavenly Father and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, for giving uh, one more opportunity to discuss his wonderful words of life. Uh, so, last week uh, we studied about the uh, Lord's uh, second uh, coming. How Lord uh, is now, is in uh, which nature? We have seen that he is in the divine nature which no man can see, which no man can approach into. And if anybody sees, uh, his eyes will be blinded. Then Jesus is no more in the same uh, fleshly body. He is resurrected as a spiritual body. If Jesus was resurrected as a spiritual body, uh, sorry, as a uh, spiritual body, we saw last time, then how was he able to appear with the same body to Thomas? Can anybody tell me, how did Jesus appear to Thomas in the same body? Joel, brother? Uh, spiritual. Very good. So, how is it possible for a spiritual mind to change body, to appear in human body? Is it possible for a spiritual mind to do it? Uh, no, brother. Yes, brother. Okay. So, any examples, Romister? During the first world? Yes. How the angel took the yes. There we saw the angels manifesting in flesh. Correct? Yes. So, so similarly, Jesus was in a spirit uh, body. So, you could assume different bodies. Any other example, brother, where, where angels are manifesting in the flesh? Joel, brother, you have any example where angels are manifesting in the flesh? Uh, Abraham. When, when was uh, Abraham? Very good. Uh, Three angels came to Abraham's house. Good. Any other example? Anil Buddha, do you have any example of angels coming in flesh? During the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, very good. Sodom and Gomorrah. You see, the angels visited Abraham. They visited Sodom and Gomorrah. So, they destroyed uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. So, these are all clear proof that uh, being in an angelic body, a spiritual body, they can manifest in a place. So, this is what Jesus did. When he was resurrected, he was 40 days in the earth's atmosphere in a spiritual body, not in a divine nature. Okay? You are not at, uh, you see, partaken of the divine nature. So, until then, he witnessed to the disciples uh, in 11 times. So, uh, did Jesus appear to the disciples after the resurrection in the same body every time or did he assume different different bodies? Who will tell me? Different, different bodies. Yes, different bodies. Very good. Any example? What type of body did Jesus uh, assume? Example. How did he come like? Like uh, normal, normal man. Normal man. Okay. What is the body? Huh. Gardener and. Very good. Gardener. Then. Uh, when two went to him house, he appeared like a old man. Mm. You see. So these are all clear proof that Jesus is not resurrected in the same uh, uh, fleshly body. So, Jesus uh, is a spiritual body, is in the spirit being. So, uh, Munas is not come today? Uh, no, brother, she won't join today. Okay, no problem. So, these are uh, clear proof that uh, Jesus is written as a spirit being. And uh, at last of all, Jesus appeared in the divine nature to Apostle Paul on the way to Damascus. So, what happened? Uh, he lost his eyesight. So, Jesus, you see, how he is going to come? If you say, he is not going to come in the same spiritual body, so that everybody can see the spiritual body. Uh, and Jesus will be in heaven like angels, you see, in the clouds. Uh, Jesus is not going to come like that. Because we know the power of the angel. You see, the angels uh, who were at the tomb of Jesus... And during the resurrection, they were so bright. That's what the Bible says. 
and even uh, when the peter was in prison the angel that appeared they were so bright imagine uh, that uh, uh, the angel who came to sodom and gomorrah the people saw the angels and what happened their eyes were blinded so jesus appears visibly you see with a spiritual body what will happen definitely the eyes will be blinded and moreover the bible says that jesus will come like a you see uh, thief he will come on a white horse uh, he will come uh, with a sword in his hand he will come with a rod of iron in his hand you see and uh, every eye shall see him he will come with blowing a trumpet he will come upon clouds you see he will sit on a white throne and does it mean that literally jesus is going to sit in uh, heaven that means the earth atmosphere in the sky literally like this only that everybody can see white horse will be there he will be sitting on a white throne you see uh, having a sword in his hand literally huh? no dear brethren so that everybody can see him for thousand years you see like as they see the sun today you see is it possible no dear brethren that is not the effective way for a uh, ruling of jesus christ he can't be like a sun in the sky so that everybody may see him you see that doesn't have uh, any effect uh, upon human beings because that is irrelevant uh, if he appears or uh, invisibly or uh, you see visibly see uh, the bible uh, gives us uh, so many narrations of uh, you see uh, angels working uh, invisibly like for example we know the story of balaam you see balaam was hindered by an angel who so was invisible you see yet uh, that invisible angel was able to perform the acts of god the, the works of god so similarly during the days of elisha and second king 6 chapter it comes uh, there was a host of angel on the chariots uh, you see completely protecting the nation of israel you see and uh, gehazi servant could not see it uh, but once when elisha prayed his eyes were opened so he could see the fiery chariots of the angels so the angels uh, always are uh, there in midst of us uh, but we can't see them you see it's not necessary that always they should be visible to perform their duty like for example god has given us guardian angels isn't isn't it has god not given us guardian angels he has given us guardian angels are they visible to us no they being invisible you see they can perform lot of things uh. like for example jesus appeared to saul okay now who saw jesus did uh, paul see jesus and did uh, any of the uh, persons who were along with uh, apostle paul did they see jesus did they see jesus tell me did anybody see jesus no huh? only the paul only apostle paul let us read what actually paul saw okay uh acts of the apostles uh nine chapter verse 3 and 4 sister somebody can read so acts you brother nine, acts nine chapter sister 3 and 4 Okay, brother. And as he journeyed, he came near uh, Damascus, and suddenly uh, there shined around about him a light of a light from heaven. Hmm. and he fell to the earth and heard the voice saying unto him saul saul why mm -hmm. uh, persecuted just thou me okay now read you see verse 7 he says you see when uh, apostle paul was coming from damascus you see he saw a light from heaven did you see jesus no you see in that light no Now read verse seven. Uh, Actually, what happened? Ah, uh. uh, 
And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. See, the only, you see, he could not see anything. You see, so that is uh, the speciality. You see, huh? so what happened uh, here is that uh, not necessarily Jesus will visibly appear to perform his uh, works uh, without uh, being uh, made visible also. You see, he can accomplish a lot of things. That's what he did in Apostle Paul. He was Saul, he was persecuting the church, but Jesus appeared to him and uh, he got uh, converted. So, therefore, we see, dear brethren, you see, it is not at all necessary that Jesus should be visible, appearing to all. Therefore, when the Bible says about Jesus' kingdom, it says the Jesus will no more be appearing at all. We can't see Jesus. Read Luke 13.28. Luke 13.28. Uh, Anita, Anita Buddha, can you read? Anita Buddha, are you there? Yes, brother. Nah, brother read uh, Luke 13.28, brother. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourself thrust out. See, the people of Israel shall see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and all the prophets. But who is main missing in the kingdom? It is the king and the queen, Jesus in the church. They are not visible there, you see. I clearly proves that uh, Jesus' second coming will be invisible. You see, so whatever we teach or whatever we tell, it should be synchronizing with a divine plan. Okay, if Jesus is going to come invisibly, you see, and rule with his might and power from the earth's atmosphere, why does Revelation 1, 7 say that every eye shall see him? Read. Uh, uh, Sunita, sister, read Revelation 1, 7. Can you read Revelation 1, 7, sister? Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall will because of him, even so. Amen. Yeah, Jesus will come, and everywhere she will see him, and veil. So, then why does this verse say that every eye shall see him? Where we have seen clearly from two weeks that uh, Jesus is no more, uh, you see, visible. Uh, he's an uh, invisible spirit being. Uh, so, you see, we can only see Jesus when you are on that side of the veil, when we are in the spiritual body. So, in this place, nobody can see Jesus. Uh, at last of all, was seen of, uh, you see, this one. So, you know, what is the meaning of Revelation 1 7? Uh, you see, this verse comes only in the book of Revelation, that of uh, first chapter, seventh verse. We all know. The book of Revelation is a symbolic book. It is not a literal book where each and every statement is literal. Everything is a symbolic statement. So when here the verse says, every eye shall see him, that word eye has got a different meaning. Let us read Revelation 1.1. 1, 1. Revelation 1.1. 1, 1. Uh, Joel brother, can you read Revelation 1.1? 1, 1? The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. See, went and signified unto his angel. You see, uh, so signified means what? Uh? Signified means through sign language. Uh. So Jesus has spoken everything. You see, through sign language. So each and everything that is shown there is a significance of something else. So therefore, if you see, when it says every eye shall see him, it is not a literal eye. It is the eyes of understanding. You see, like for example, when Adam sinned, the Bible says their eyes were opened. Isn't it? Let us read Genesis 3.7. 
Amar brother, can you read Genesis 3 7 brother? Genesis 3 7. Hmm. Okay, and the eyes of them both were open, hmm. and they know that they were naked and hmm. they shoot uh, fig leaves together and made themselves uh, spawn. Uh -huh. See, it says their eyes were opened. What does it mean? That means, did God create Adam and Eve as a blind person? No, their eyes were opened means what? Their spiritual eyes of understanding were opened. You see, even Jesus also said many times, he that has eyes, let him see. Isn't it Matthew 13, chapter 13 and 16? He that uh, has ears, let him hear. Or Jesus speaking about literal eyes and literal ears? No, he was speaking about the eyes of understanding. The years of understanding. Now, you see, therefore, eyes in the Bible means eyes of understanding. Read Matthew 13, 13. Matthew 13, 13. Gopal brother, can you read Matthew 13, 13? Ah. Matthew 13, 13, therefore speak I to them in parables because they sing, see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. See, seeing they see not because why? They have these eyes, but eyes of understanding is not open. But now read verse 16 also, brother. Huh? But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for the hair. See, they said, are your eyes, they see me as what? Everybody will blind. Huh? That means eyes of understanding. Similarly, we read in the Bible that the God of this world, Satan, what has he done? He has blinded the eyes of many. Does it mean that literally he has blinded everybody's eyes? No. He has blinded everybody's eyes of understanding. Read 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. Anil brother, can you read 2 Corinthians 4 4? In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God. Should shine unto them. Hmm? Should shine unto them. Blind their eyes, blind the mind. That's a bit literally is blinded. Huh? How can the mind be blinded? Only if the eyes can be blinded. No. So eyes means what? Mind, understanding. See, it's clearly given. No? See, similarly, our eyes were also blinded. But now, by God's grace, our eyes of understanding is enlightened. Ephesians 1.18 Ephesians 1.18. Joel Burr, can you read Ephesians 1.18? Ephesians 1.18. Ephesians 1.18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the sense. Ah, the eyes of understanding being enlightened. You see, so we are also once blind. But now what has happened? Our eyes has been opened. That means what? We were literally blind. No. Eyes in the Bible means understanding. Though people may be having normal eyes, little eyes, but they can understand. They can't perceive so many things. Therefore, in Revelation 1, 7, when it says, every eye shall see him, it means every eye shall understand him. Every eye shall perceive him. Like for example, you see, Today, who is the God of this world? Who is ruling this uh, earth atmosphere? You see, who is the prince of this world? Tell me. Huh? Who? Satan. Correct. Can we see him? He is ruling from the earth atmosphere. Correct now? Huh? Who is the prince of the power of the air? Read. Ephesians 2.2. Read Ephesians 2 2. 
जॉय ब्रदर रीड ब्रदर एफिशियंस टू टू रीड ब्रदर वेर इन वेर इन इन टाइम पास ए वॉक अकॉर्डिंग टू द कोर्स ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रिंस ऑफ द पावर ऑफ द ईयर द स्पिरिट दैट नाउ वर्क एड इन द चिल्ड्रेन ऑफ डिस ओबीडियंस अंडरलाइन द ईवन स्पिरिट इज वर्किंग इन दिल्ड ऑफ डिस ओबीडियंस द प्रिंस ऑफ द पावर ऑफ द वेर इज सेटल ही इज इन दर कैन यू सीम कैन यू फील इफ्ट आवर आईज कैन यू सीम नो He is invisibly ruling among mankind. It is the same way when Jesus is also going to return at the second coming. Therefore, Jesus said, "You see, literally nobody can see me, but only with the eyes of understanding. Now, can we identify Jesus? Now, now let us come to the fourth part. Okay? Then, how do we identify this invisible, powerful? master lord jesus christ who is in the divine nature how do we identify see the same question was asked by the disciples to lord jesus christ in matthew 24 chapter let us read matthew 24 3 what did jesus uh, uh, you see reply and what did the disciples ask the question uh, sunita sister can you read matthew 24 3 and as he sat upon the mount of olives the disciples came on to him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world ah you see what did the disciples ask what is the sign of thy coming please tell us how can we know when you are coming you see so jesus when he is telling about uh, is a uh, second coming matthew 24 chapter you see you see we can read uh, those verses after the class uh, you see how many verses are there in matthew 24 chapter you see nearly 51 verses are there why should jesus give 51 verses uh, about uh, his uh, second coming he could have simply told don't worry just see the sky i will be coming uh, in sky i will come up on the white clouds with everybody blowing the trumpet i will come with the holy angels he could have simply said this words and finished off but instead of that one jesus has spoken 51 words dear brethren why did jesus speak this words you see because the question was very very important Now, what what was the question of the disciples what did the disciples ask you see read that verse again sister sunita sister please read and as he sat upon the mount of olives the disciples came on to him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming See? and of the what shall be the sign underline that word sign they did not ask uh, how to see you lord we will see uh, how do you identify no they asked for the signs why Why signs are required? If Jesus is literally going to come from heaven upon the clouds, upon the sky, why signs are required? Dear brethren, the sign, that question itself is a clear proof that Jesus is not going to appear visibly. Hence, to identify invisible person who is ruling, who is taking in charge, signs are very, very, very important. You see, therefore, you see what did. Uh, Uh, jesus uh, reply you see huh? uh see uh verse uh, 26 sister please read one minute huh? uh read verse 26 uh, gopal brother can you read verse 26 hmm Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert; go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers; believe it not. 
Ah, Jesus, while giving the signs, the clue, how to identify Jesus in him coming, Jesus, first of all, warned the disciples, if anybody tells that Jesus is in the desert, that he has come visibly, he's landed visibly, so that everybody can see him, don't believe it. Don't believe it at all. If somebody tells that Jesus is in the secret chamber, I was praying to him, suddenly Jesus appeared. What did Jesus say? Don't believe it. You see, he is not going to come particularly to some one person, visible to one person or visible to everybody that everybody eyes can see. No, dear Budran. He is going to come invisibly. That is the reason Jesus gave the sign. Now, what is the meaning of sign? Like, for example, if you go to a railway station, you see, there is a sign board. What is the meaning of sign board? If you go to the aerodrome, you see, airport, what is there? A sign board is there which uh, tells uh, what time the plane will come and what time the plane will depart, uh, what time the train will come. You see, where is the platform? Which platform will come? What is the sign? The sign is the identification. How to identify, how to clearly know which is the particular train. Similarly, science which Jesus gave was actually the way to identify Jesus' invisible presence. Okay. Now, Jesus, what did Jesus say about second coming? Read Matthew 24, 27. Matthew 24, 27. Joel, brother, please read Matthew 24, 27. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophet and shall see you no, great no, brother. sign. No, 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 no. 24, 24, 27, brother. Uh, I read 24, brother. 24th chapter, 27th verse. Oh, sorry, brother. Uh, for as the lightning cometh out of the east and signeth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Ah, how is the Jesus uh, coming is going to be, it seems, sir? He's going to come like a lightning that cometh out of east to west. Let me tell me, lightning. You see, in your place, there is lightning, no? Whenever there is a thunder shower, uh, there is lightning that comes, no? Now, does lightning come exactly from east to west? You see, does the lightning have any direction? No. Lightning doesn't have any direction. Suddenly, it will, you see, blast in whichever direction it wants. There is no particular direction at all. You see, but Jesus said, as a lightning that cometh from east to west, you see, sir. Now you tell me, which is the lightning that comes exactly from east to west? Anybody? Which is the light? Sun. sun. Early in the morning, you can see the sun, a bright sun that comes from east to west. Similarly, Jesus' second coming is going to be it seems. So therefore, actually, the word shining, you see, as a bright shining, that word comes in Matthew 24, 27, is from Greek word astrape, which means it is a very, very bright shining. That word lightning, it means bright shining. So which is the bright shining that comes exactly from east to west, if you see, that is the sun. How does the sun rise? Does it rise once upon a time, suddenly? No, it comes slowly. You see, first of all, the day starts uh, at uh, almost uh, 3 o'clock, you see. It becomes slowly, it becomes to, yeah, sun rays slowly, that uh, light uh, rays uh, started to come. But 6 o'clock, you see, that uh, dawn begins to happen. 9 o'clock, you see, sun would have come to some uh, extent. Uh, but afternoon, by 12 noon, the sun would be upon our head. So similarly, you see, Jesus' second coming has three stages. First is the early morning stage. And uh, that stage is expressed uh, and understood by the word, Greek word, that is uh, parousia. You see, and the word parousia means presence. And the uh, second stage is epiphania, which means uh, bright shining. You see, and the third stage, which uh, speaks about the noon, where the sun will be upon our head, that is apocalypse, uh, where uh, you see uh, completely, you see, the Jesus' invisible presence will be revealed to the whole world. 
So the word parousia means actually presence. You see, now oh, what is the meaning of presence? Like for example, I hope you are all gone to school. In the school, they would take attendance, no? How would the teacher take attendance? Roll number one, she'll call and the student will tell, present sir, present ma'am. Roll number two, present ma'am, isn't it? So in English, they would tell present, present, present. But if it is the same in a Greek school, if the teacher calls for attendance, the students will tell parousia. You see, parousia means what? Huh? Parousia means what? I'm here. Not that I'm coming. Parousia means I'm present. This is the same word that is used in Matthew 24 chapter to express Jesus' second presence. You see, Jesus' second presence is expressed in Matthew 24 chapter. You see, but uh, unfortunately, in our Bible, the word is translated as coming, wrongly translated as coming. That means what? Is not come, is still coming, coming, coming. Actually, that word is Greek word parousia. Parousia means what? Presence. You see, so actually, this uh, Matthew 24 chapter and uh, uh, Luke 17 chapter, Mark 13 chapter are all parallel chapters. You see, so whatever sign is given there is given the signs about the Lord's presence, not about the Lord's coming. Let us read Luke 17, 26. Read Luke 17, 26. Uh, Amar brother, can you read Luke 17, 26? Okay. Luke 17, 26. And as it was in the days of noon, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Ah, here the beautiful expression of Parosha is given. What did he say? As it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be in the days of Son of Man. Now you tell me, during the days of Noah, the people were getting married. You see, they were uh, marrying and getting married. Uh, you see, that's what Jesus says no? in Luke 76. Uh, they were drinking. You see, nobody knew until the flood came. So, during the days of Noah, now you tell me, Noah was present or not? Tell me, during the days of Noah, was Noah present there or not? Yes. Yes, he was there, he was alive. Hence, it is called the days of Noah. Noah was there. He built the ark. He prepared, you see, Ark. He took the eight people inside the ark. So no one was there. No one was there. So similarly, when it says the days of the Son of Man, now who should be there? Son of Man. Jesus should be there or not? Yes. Yes. Jesus should be there. And how to identify that Jesus who is already there? That is what is given in Matthew 24 chapter. Now, what we will do? We will see what is the signs which Jesus gave to identify him? The first thing he says, don't believe anybody who says he is going to come visibly. Correct, no? Visibly in a desert, everybody I can see him. Or in a secret chamber, he will come and speak to him particularly. Don't believe all those things. Why don't you ask the date? You see, some people who claim, no? They spoke to Lord. You can ask them, no? You can ask the Lord. Lord, when are you going to come permanently come, second coming? Why are you coming, visiting and going? Isn't it? Dear and Jesus clearly want not to believe those things. So what is the signs, you see, to identify the presence of our Lord? You see, read Matthew 24, verses 4 to 6. Uh, Gopal brother, do you have a Rodraham Bible with you? Uh, no, brother. I need to see from my phone. Okay, just check. Ashish, brother, you have a Rodraham Bible with you? No, no, brother. I don't have it. Okay. Okay, you, you search and tell me, Gopal brother. No, 
Now let us read Matthew 24, 4 to 6. Anil brother, can you read Matthew 24, 4 to 6? Verse by verse, we'll just have uh, study it and go. Anil brother, can you read Matthew 24, 4? Twenty-four, chapter four, verse. And Jesus answered and said unto them, "Take heed that no man deceive you." Continue. Hmm. For many shall come in my name, saying, "I am Christ," and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You see, what did Jesus say? First thing is that wars and rumors of wars. Don't worry. Don't be troubled. This is all the things that must come to pass, but the end is not yet. This is the first sign of a Lord's presence, not Lord's coming. It is a first sign of the Lord's day. You see, it is the first sign of the days of the Son of Man. Now, war. No need for me to tell about war. You see, since, since this last century, how many wars have taken place? First of all, you see, First World War took place when? In the 19th century. You see, after this one, Second World War took place. You see, and uh, now the third world war is getting prepared. Uh, already we can see so much wars are there. You see, when America was attacked by the, uh, on the World Trade Center, by the, you see, Taliban, what happened? Uh, you see, the Americans declare war upon, you see, Afghanistan, you see. So, you can make a list of wars. Innumerable wars have been taking place. The Russian Civil War, Spanish War, Arab-Israel War, Korean War. Vietnam War, Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq War, Kuwait War, you see, Mexico Crisis, Yemen War, Sri Lanka, LTT, India, Pakistan, Kargil War, you see, IS, IS, you see, Armenia, Arbizan, and uh, recently, what war are we are seeing? Uh, Russia and Ukraine, you see, and uh, uh, two months before, which war started? Uh, Israel and Hamas, David uh, and so we are living in a period where wars are very frequent. That is what Jesus said. You see, the world is preparing for the third world war. You see, nowadays, there is a new war. You see, a few years before, it was only computer war. You see, the war which in uh, cyber warfare. But now what has happened? Biological warfare has already started. COVID, that was a what? That was a biological warfare. You see, now, you know, what, what new warfare is starting there? You see, now there is a new warfare that is called as, you see, uh, uh, satellite, uh, you see, a nuclear uh, uh, warfare uh, from the sky. You see, a satellite nuclear warfare. Now you read uh, yesterday's newspaper, uh, you see, the Russians are planning to attack through space a nuclear, uh, you see, uh, warfare, it seems. So that's a new trend. And earlier, how the war used to take place. Uh, you see, human beings go, used to go with a large army and attack a nation. But now, it is through drones, uh, unmanned aircraft. Uh, sitting in their home, they will attack, uh, you see. And in the future, no more army will also be there. Everything will be robots. Uh, you see, everything will be satellite control. Now, today, the world has so much of nuclear uh, bombs, uh, the whole world can be destroyed more than 2,000 times. So much of power. You see, so much of warfare uh, is getting prepared. Uh, what does Jesus say? This is not the end. Uh, you see, this is the beginning of sorrow. Read, brother. Continue. Uh, Anil, brother, please continue. Read Matthew 24, chapter. Read uh, verse uh, 7, brother. Uh. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. In the days of Son of Man, what will there is himself? Nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famine, pestilences, earthquakes, and diverse every places, various places, not only particular places. You see, 
nation against nation in Nepal, huh? wasn't there any trouble? You see, in uh, Manipur, what happened? Uh, huh? People against people, two group of people fighting against each other. Uh, you see, LTTE and uh, Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, India, China. You see, in uh, here, uh, what do you see? Huh? Hindus, Muslims, see, uh, nation against nation, people against people, uh, kingdom against kingdom. Uh, you see, and uh, what is the reason? Uh, famine, isn't it? Uh, See, no need for me to mention about famine at all. If you just go to Africa, you can see the people don't even have proper drinking water. You see, there's so much of scarcity of food. Famine! You see, and uh, you see, in our place, this year, we, did, we don't have rain at all for one particular year. It is declared as drought. You see, drought relief uh, have been sought. People don't have sufficient of water. You see, what is it? Huh? Earthquake, uh, you see, famines, uh, pestilences, uh, pestilences, what uh, deadly diseases, you see, COVID, it came now, how many people died? Uh, lakhs of lakhs of people, uh, you see, nobody were allowed to go outside, just a pandemic, uh, a virus through the air, you see, it uh, hurt uh, so many people, everybody died, so many people died. Uh, it's a mass burial, pestilences. You see, these pestilences actually happen when our Lord is there, not when our Lord is coming. These are the signs that our Lord has already come. Read Habakkuk 3.5. Gopal brother, can you read Habakkuk 3.5? Before him went the pestilence and burning coals went forth at his feet. Okay. Before him, before Lord Jesus Christ, he is there and before him, that is in his presence, what is the reason? Pestilences. Therefore, we see one upon the other, one upon the other. You see various types of diseases are coming. COVID-19, you see, now influenza, H1N1, you see, various types of mutated viruses are spreading day by day. This is the sign of a Lord's presence. You see, parousia. You see, it says, famine, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes, you see, Japan, there was a great tsunami, you see, that destroyed almost every part of Japan. In India also, you see what happened? There was a tsunami 10 years before. You see, first time the word tsunami was filled upon our ears. Nobody understood what is the word tsunami. But after that one, tsunami has become so frequent. You see, so many times it has already come and gone in Japan. You see, day of the rain, it destroyed so many lives. Earthquakes in diverse places. Nepal, you saw earthquake. You see, and uh, Pakistan, uh, you see, Gujarat, uh, so many people uh, lost their lives. It is widespread all over the world. Uh, you see, uh, and how is this happening? Uh, what Jesus is saying is not about small, small scale, small, small things happening. It happens in a very large scale that is quite spread all over the world. Read Luke 21st chapter, 25 to 26. Luke 21, 25 to 26. Uh, um, Joel, brother, can you read Luke 25, 21st chapter, 25 and 26 verse? And there shall be sign in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nation with per perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's heart falling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the power of heaven shall be second. See how these things will happen in Jesus. Jesus said what is it? Upon earth the distress of nations. Distress of nations. No nation is under peace. Every nation is under heavy tension, distress, confusion. Don't know what to do. Perplexity. You see Ah, full responsibility. And what will happen? The sea and the waves roaring. That's what we are seeing. Tsunamis. Seeing this one, seeing these tsunamis, 
Seeing this disaster, what will happen to man? It seems so. Men's heart failing them for fear. For looking after those things which are coming upon the earth. You see, dear brethren, man seeing these disasters coming upon them, they are quite frightened. They don't know what to do. Wherever you go, you even live in America, you live in Australia, there is trouble there. There is earthquake, there is tsunamis, uh, there is flood, uh, there is, uh, you see, huh? tornadoes, uh, you see, there are fire, uh, forest fires, uh, devastation, every place, dear brethren, uh, men's heart are feeling fear, don't know what to do, what is going to come. This is the sign of our Lord's presence. Now, one more sign our Lord tells about Antichrist in Matthew 24.15. Matthew 24.15. Sunita Esther, can you read Matthew 24.15? When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place. Whoso read it, let him understand. See? See? Jesus said about the abomination that make it desolate. We have studied about the abomination that make it desolate. Stand in the holy place, that means the church. You can see that great antichrist system. We have studied that one, you see, in the previous class. Antichrist is a system. It is not a literal man who comes and puts his seal upon his head and hand. Triple six number is a title of the Pope which is put on his crown. Vicarious Philidi, triple six. So, this one is already seen. So, Antichrist has already come to pass. This is also a sign of our Lord's presence. Not our Lord's coming, but our Lord is already there. It is a clear sign that Jesus has revealed, brought forth outside the truth about this great Antichrist system. Okay, now let us read one more sign of Jesus' presence in Matthew 24, chapter 23 and 24. Uh, Romy sister, can you read Matthew 24, chapter 23 and 24? Yes, brother. Then, if any man shall <laughs> say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophet, and shall so great sign and wonders, in so much that if it is were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. You see, what did Jesus say about this? Sign of his presence in his day, what will happen is himself. False Christ will come. What do you mean by false Christ? Not duplicate Christ. Christ means anointed. Falsely anointed Christians will come. False prophets will come and say that we are the true Christians, we are the anointed ones. And what they will do is himself to prove that one. They will do many great signs and wonders. You see. We have studied about the miracles happening in these days. These are not the miracles which are referred in the Bible to Abraham. Jesus never did such type of miracles. The miracles which are happening today, speaking in tongues, you see, in unknown language, in a very, very awkward way. This is not what the Bible says. We have studied clearly about the miracles. Jesus healed everybody and 100% healing happened and we have seen the meaning of tongues. The tongues is an understandable language. But today, what we are seeing today is not at all what the scripture says. Hence, Jesus said, don't believe these things. Because when our Lord's presence is there, when he is present in his day, during the days of Son of Man, what will happen? Satan will try all his best to deceive as many people as possible. So it will deceive even the very electrician. Those people listening to these classes, even they also might be deceived. The possibility is there, not that they will be deceived. 
possibility of getting deceived is there. This is a clear sign. What we are seeing today, in our front of our eyes, this is the sign of his second presence. Okay, now one more presence sign is given in verse 12. Amar brother, can you read Matthew 24, 12? And, and because in iniquity shall about um, abound the love of many shall wax cold. You see, iniquity that means sin, understanding of sin, it will become so common that uh, many people who love the Lord. They will become cold, it seems. Today, we can see vulgarity all over the world. You see, there are disco, club, bar, malls, everywhere the youngsters are getting spoiled. First of all, they are not taught in the homes to wear proper clothes. You see, the Bible forbids women to wear, uh, you see, men's clothes. But today, there is no knowledge about that one for everybody. They wear short, short clothes which are uh, against the word of God. Uh, Men are marrying men, women are marrying women, and this is made legitimate in today's court. Even if the, nobody, you see, allows them, the people come to the streets to protect and protest against these things. You know, today the men are so fond of wearing women's clothes. They wear skirts and go to the hi fi jobs and see their hair cuttings, you see, and see their totters all over the body. Not forbidden against the Bible. Uh, you see, the cuttings are like that as if the rat has eaten their hair. You see, what does the Bible say? You see, iniquity, these are the things which God tells not to do. Because of this one, what will happen is it's become a fashion to make trend all over Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and post it uh, and get likes. Uh, you see, Dan rather liking the persons who are in front of you. Then this is the rise of iniquity, rise of sinful condition in the world. We know very well, you see, we can see front of our eyes, uh, these things are happening, dear brethren. The world is no more, uh, you see, huh? holy. The world is no more a sanctity place. It has become corrupt with evil activities. Uh, this is also one of the signs, the films, the serials, the things which are there attract mankind, you see. Uh, all these things are abusive, uh, the mobile phones. Uh, okay. Now, one more sign is Matthew 24 14. Matthew 24 14. Uh, Sunita, Astor, can you read Matthew 24 14? And this gospel for the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Okay, the gospel should be preached to all the nations. So, is the gospel preached to all nations? Yes. You tell me one person in this world who doesn't know about Jesus. Everybody knows about Jesus. As per the Bible society, the Bible was translated in all the languages of the world. And the witness about Jesus is the Savior is given to the whole world. Forget about they are accepting. They are not accepting it. They are not able to accept it because the God of this world has blinded them. But... This witness has gone forth to everybody. Everybody knows about Jesus. But this verse doesn't say that they will accept the witness. It said that shall be only for a witness unto all nations. This witness is already given. But this is also a sign of second presence. Parousia. One more sign. Matthew 24, 29. Joel Buddha, can you read Matthew 24, 29? Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be dark, darkening and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the power, powers of the heavens shall be shaken. See, what happens? Sun shall be darkened, moon shall not give light. You see, this literally happened. You know when? You see, May 19th, 1780. Sun suddenly become dark 
in mid noon it seems for entire 24 hours there was no sunlight you see all this is recorded in the history it happened in america you see it would have happened all over the world but uh, you see the americans we all know very well they are very very scientific they don't believe in orthodox uh, you see beliefs and all uh, you see other uh, beliefs uh, you see bad omen will happen all these things uh, every place would have happened but nobody has recorded it but just because the americans are you see a different they have made a record of it and very next day the moon did not give light for an entire day deep then this prophecy is also fulfilled and it also says stars shall fall from heaven you see now what are these stars uh, shooting stars you go to russia there so many meteoric showers that happened you see this is all a clear proof of the lord's presence okay now let us read one more sign in matthew 24 21 matthew 24 21 anil brother can you read matthew 24 21 For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever, ever shall be. Okay. There should be a great time of trouble, it seems. Great tribulation, which was not from the beginning of the world till now. Now, which is this great time of trouble? Are we seeing this one? Yes, dear brother. We are seeing it in front of our eyes. The great tribulation, you see, the great trouble all over the world. You see, just think, our parents, how much did they earn? Just 30 years, 40 years before, 50 years before, your grandfather, our grandfather, they earned only just a small portion of the amount what we are earning today. But yet they lived happily, without any fear, without any disease. Today, mankind is earning a lot of money. He is traveling here, there, abroad, through plane. Aircraft, media, everything is there. But is there peace of mind? Is there good health? No. Everywhere you see commodities have reached to the peak to sky level. Nobody is able to afford petrol, diesel, oil, basic commodities for the house, food and grains. This is the trouble which we are living. Was it there since the beginning of the world? No, no, no generation. I have seen this trouble, dear brother. We are going to expect this one to double, triple in the coming days. In the coming days, trouble will become more, not less at all. At any cost, it won't become less. In any government that come, they can they not give peace. That's what the Bible says. There should be great tribulation. You see, which of the generation has seen COVID lockdown for three to four months? You see, dear brother, no, no generation. You see, we can record it in word history. That this is the generation. This is the sign of his presence. Now, you see, Jesus said, no. Behold, he comes in clouds. What is the meaning of cloud in the Bible? See, we have studied the Bible for so many, almost, I think, almost one year is happened. See, we have studied about so many subjects. In all these things, you could have clearly identified the Bible is a symbolic book. Each and every word of in a prophetic language and symbolic language as a meaning. Similarly, when Jesus says, Jesus is going to come in clouds, clouds mean what? He is not going to come in a literal cloud. Dear brethren, cloud in the Bible means trouble. It is in this trouble that Jesus is there who is controlling it. Read uh, Zephaniah 115. Gopal brother, can you read Zephaniah 115? The day is a day of wrath. A day of trouble and distress, a day of uh, wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. See, a day of clouds, a day of thick darkness. Read Joel 2 2 also, brother. A day of darkness and a gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains. A oh, great people and a strong, there had not been even the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. This is what Jesus quoted in Matthew 24, Joel 2 2. There shall be great tribulation, neither was there from the beginning of the creation of this world. It is in this cloud that Jesus is going to come. 
in this cloud of trouble that jesus is going to establish his kingdom by destroying the evil system of this world brethren this is the eyes of understanding it is in this size of understanding the people will recognize it is done by our lord who is ruling invisibly this is the sign of his presence dear brethren so dear brethren you see huh? uh one more sign a beautiful and a very clear sign which jesus gave is matthew 24 32 matthew 24 32 uh sunita can you read matthew 24 32 Now learn a parable of the fig tree when its when his branch is yet tender and put it for leaves ye know that summer is night see he is telling with the parable of the fig tree what is the meaning of parable of fig tree have you studied about israel brother we have finished the subject of israel yes brother ah so you are clearly now you can understand that the parable of the fig tree jesus mentioned again this one in luke 21st chapter he says behold the fig tree and other trees which was dried remember jesus when he came at the first advent he saw a fig tree full of leaves he came near to eat some fruits but there was no fruit so he cursed the fig tree so what happened the fig tree was cursed israel was cursed but that nation of israel you see will again sprout when when jesus second presence is there when he has already come and we standing for israel israel shall be gathered as a nation so may 14 1948 the fig tree that dried at the first advent began to flourish began to sprout so israel got the independence on may 14 1948 Now Luke, what does the Luke say? Read Luke, Luke twenty-first chapter, brother. Ah, uh, Joel, brother, please Luke chapter read twenty-first chapter, brother. Twenty-first chapter, verse thirty. Luke twenty-nine and thirty, brother. Twenty-first chapter, verse thirty. was 29 and 30 24 look 24 21st 21 okay 21st in that one 29 and 30 verse and he spake to them parable behold the fig tree and all the trees when they now shoot forth ye see and know of your own self that summer is now night at hand continue so likewise ye when ye see these things come to pass know ye that the kingdom of god is night at hand at hand year only at hand means year only that means what uh, not only fig tree other tree also now fig tree means nation of israel means other tree means what uh, other countries since uh, you see israel got as independence more than 50 countries have got independence india bangladesh sri lanka pakistan hong kong many other countries i got the independence i'm just giving you a few example even america also we said dear brethren so this is the clear proof of what uh, jesus is present now jesus is coming this is a clear sign that is already come and he is ruling in the midst of us it is his blessings one more sign is given in daniel 12 chapter verse 4 daniel 12 4 romi sister can you read daniel 4 12 4 But thou, O Daniel, uh, sought sought out the word, and sealed the book, even to the 
time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. You see, this is the sign of a time of the end. Here we are living in the time of the end. And what is the sign? Many shall run to and fro, knowledge shall increase. Now, what is the meaning of many shall run to and fro? That means transportation. Imagine the transportation olden days. How was it? The people used to travel only on the cart or bicycles. But today, they are traveling I-5 vehicles. You see, the people were traveling in charcoal trains. But now today, they are traveling in electric trains, high-speed bullet trains, which travels more than 600 kilometers. You see, Earlier, man, the bright brothers who invented plane, only two or three people could travel, you see, at heavy risk. But today, you see, except two, three people, everybody travels by air. You see, it's so increased that man today is going to moon. You see, and how, how often, whenever they want, they can go to moon, you see. And uh, ma, we have stations, no? What station is there? Railway station is there. Bus station is there. You see. Plane station is there, but they have invented and they have found recently space station also. You see, whenever you want to go to space, you can go. There's a station there in the space. You can get hauled there, stay there for a few days, you see, and return back to world. Elon Musk is, you see, is, you see, is doing those things. You see, in the future, man can have a trip to Mars and Moon. Man today is traveling at the lightning speed, even more speed than sound and going to moon and returning back to earth. This is the way man is running to and fro. You see, dear brother, you see the transportation has become so much uh, that uh, in the morning we can have breakfast in India. In afternoon we can have uh, our lunch in uh, England. At night we can have dinner again in America. And early morning we can return back to India. You see, that is how man so fastly is traveling. You see, earlier, you see, when uh, Isaac Newton, he saw this verse, he was a Bible student, and he, he read this verse, and he told to the whole world, a time will come, the mankind will travel at the speed of 16 kilometers per hour, it seems. Every world, everybody in this world laughed at him, you have become a fool, you become a mad. You see, but today, you see, if anybody travels less than 60 kilometers uh, per hour, they are scolding him. Going by bicycle, go, go to the side. You see, in America, you know, there's express highway. You know, what is the minimum speed? In that America, in the minimum speed is 120 kilometers per hour. You, you can't slow down. If you slow down, you will have to pay the fine. But in, now it's in your place. So if you go speed, you have to pay fine. In Dubai and all, the road is so straight. You see, they got very, very super fast vehicles. You see, it goes more than 200 kilometers speed. You see, the steering gets locked and nobody, there's nothing that you need to do. Automatically, vehicle goes straight. You see, they got high-fi vehicles. You see, who has given these blessings? It is our returned Lord Jesus Christ. You see, read Daniel 12.1. Uh, Joel, brother, read Daniel 12.1. Now, we read Daniel 12.4. Read Daniel 12.1. When is these things going to happen? And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children, for thy people, ah, and there shall... Wait. Now who shall stand? Michael shall stand for thy people. Daniel's people is Israel. He was a Jew. Jesus, Michael means Jesus, we studied about one. So Jesus will stand in support for Israel, it seems. Then only these things will happen. Knowledge shall increase. Man shall run to and fro. Now continue, Joel brother. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And time. This is what Jesus said. There should be a great time of trouble. You see, terrorist attack, suicide bomb. Where were all these six days then? This is all since our Lord's presence, since Michael is standing. Dear brethren, knowledge shall increase. You see, there are a lot of examples I can give you. You see, man shall run to and fro. 
electric vehicles forget about within 10 years all your diesel and petrol vehicles will be thrown to garage electric vehicles will come you see humanoid humanoid research human robot she she you can see the screen she is a robot but how does she look she looks exactly like a human being all the things what she does is like human being that is a humanoid at your brain you see this is the way the knowledge has increased in the coming days you see it will increase uh, 100 times uh, with an artificial intelligence is going to take over the world dear brethren you see you can see this uh, uh, image also uh, uh, in uh, here you can see uh, one minute See, uh, you can see on the uh, right hand side, you see, where uh, uh, things are there. Mm. One minute. Uh. See, how the technology of computers and all developed. You see, earlier it was a big computer, we should have AC and all, but now what happened? It slowly began to convert into a laptop and every gadgets, every things in the house slowly disappeared. You see, earlier a man used to use so many things. Now everything is, uh, you see, come into a system, a computer. You see, now how many people use uh, computers? Uh, not many people. Uh, only a few people who use laptops. You know, in coming days, even that also won't be there. You see, they'll just use a smartphone or mobile. Everything is there in the mobile. And uh, in uh, in uh, mostly in the future, you see, there's a technology that is being developed where there is no computer, no mobile, nothing. In in just naked sky, you're going to type your password and you, immediately all the screens will appear. So nobody can see, only you can see. A virtual system is going to happen. So the technology, you see, today huh, is hi-fi. You can see here. Huh? So these are all some, uh, you see, samples, how technology is going to uh, develop in the coming days. Uh, you see, David Ren, even in agriculture field also, we studied uh, that one during the class of uh, Israel, how technology is being developed in agriculture. Uh, this is system, hybrid fruits uh, are developed. Uh, and how, uh, you see, uh, uh, the agriculture uh, and today is being developed. You can see how the harvest is done. Such a big uh, banana plantation. You see, such a big uh, fruit yield is giving. So what, who is, uh, and what is the uh, result and what is the blessings? Uh, it is all the blessings of our Lord's uh, presence uh, who is blessing uh, mankind. Uh, dear brethren, knowledge uh, shall increase. Uh, you see, it is because of this uh, genetic, uh, you see, modification, uh, you see, genetic science, uh, you see, biological engineering, you see, that is how man is able to get so much of field which uh, in agriculture field also, dear brethren. So these are one of the signs of our uh, Lord's uh, presence. And uh, uh, even in the field of, uh, uh, you see, cultivation, agriculture, earlier managed to use so many equipment and all, but now what has happened? Is uh, using only, you see, uh, tractors and, uh, you see, uh, modern uh, equipments uh, to do the harvest work. You see, uh, you can see here, uh, as I told you, the future, how our mobile is going to be. You see, there's not going to be any mobile, no device and all. So it's just going to be a small uh, uh, eye contact lens in which uh, everything will be there, where uh, uh, each and every person, uh, each and everything will all, all be clearly tracked. This system is already there in America. So what we use Google in our place is actually very... Very, very low uh, quality Google. In America, you can really access 3D image, live image of the traffic, entire thing. You can even nearly go at your doorstep and see what really is happening. There's no need for any CCTV camera at all. Live in the Google, you can see it here. So this is all uh, blessings of the Lord's uh, second coming. Uh, knowledge shall increase. And uh, what is happening? Uh, you see? So, um, uh, and uh, you see, man shall run to and fro. 
So, dear brethren, so these are all clear uh, signs of the Lord's second coming. And last, uh, I would like to, somebody to read 1 Corinthians 4 5. Uh, Gopal brother, can you read 1 Corinthians 4 5? Therefore, just nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise of God. You see? So, wait until the Lord comes. Once the Lord comes, what he will do? He will bring everything that is hidden to light. Today, corruption is not so easy. Earlier, they used to do corruption, take, bribe, murder somebody. Nobody is to identify. But today, you see, everything is revealed openly, dear brethren. You see, everything, everywhere, CC camera is there, everywhere, digital tracking is there. You see, everything, whatever they are doing illegally, comes to light. Live recording, live mic, live camera is there. All over the places, even America President Bill Clinton was not spared. He was brought to justice before the whole public and uh, he was condemned. Dear brethren, these are all the clear signs of what uh, Lord's presence, not the Lord's, uh, you see, not the Lord's coming, but the Lord's presence. At last, uh, read one verse and we'll finish it off. Uh, Joel, brother, can you read First Thessalonians 1 minute? Um, can you read Second Thessalonians first chapter? One minute. Okay, we will see that verse next week. But dear brethren, so I request you, uh, please go through the notes which I'll be sending to you. Uh, you see. Uh, via uh, WhatsApp. So, any doubts, any questions you can ask. See, what you have studied is that why Jesus is going to come and general expectations and how actually Jesus comes invisibly. How to, how to identify Jesus invisibly we have seen. Uh, next week, we are going to see when Jesus actually returned. If he has returned invisibly, if this is the science to identify him, when Jesus has returned, we are going to see next week. So, next week, uh, come early, we are going to see that important class. So anybody has got any doubts, any questions, till now they can ask. Anybody, any questions? Anil Badar, Sunil Tashtar, any doubts, any questions? No, brother. Okay. Joel Badar, any questions? No, brother. Okay. Romy, sister, Amar Badar. No questions, brother. I, I had some questions before and I asked to go by brother. So it's all clear. Thank you. Okay. I'll send the notes. Please go through the notes. Gopal brother also will revise uh, many things in Nepali in Saturday. Hope you'll definitely understand. Still, if you have any doubts, don't hesitate. See, please ask all your questions. We're ready to give the answers from the Bible. Okay. Thank you, everybody.